Hello dear friends. Today we are going to discuss the various aspects of interview which is mostly used to collect information from respondents under research study. First, meaning and definition of interview. The word interview is originated from the middle French term interview which means to see each other or to visit each other briefly. Interview means asking questions in conversation mode. That means interview is a conversation between two or more people where questions are asked by the interviewer to elicit facts or statements from the interviewee. Interview a data collecting method involves verbal questions and responses. Interview method of collecting data involves presentation of oral verbal stimulus and reply in terms of oral verbal responses. Interview elicits information from respondent. It is a conversation in which one person, the interviewer, elicits information from another person, that is, from the respondent or interviewee. Interview represents meeting for personal and social interaction. Typically, an interview represents a meeting or dialogue between people where personal and social interaction occurs. In other words, interviews provide an opportunity for face-to-face -face interaction between two persons. Hence, interviews reduce conflicts. For example, by using interview method, an investigator is collecting information from a school teacher of rural area. Interview is concerned with the increase in students' enrollment as a result or effect of midday meals. Purpose of interview First, understanding the live experience with actual meaning and sense. The investigator wants to know face to face how people feel, what they experience and what they remember, what their motive and emotions are like and the reasons for acting as they do. Second, discovery of new knowledge. Here, discovery means gaining new knowledge, consciousness or insight of certain unexplored qualitative aspects of the problem in detail, which is the primary objective of the interview. Third, measurement through developed schedule. Interview on the basis of developed schedule is more effective and includes more uniform coverage, precision and reliability for measurement. Fourth, relation between the interviewer and the interviewee. Through interview, a new relation between the interviewer and the interviewee is always created and by which they can mutually extend duration of interview, repeat or also cross-check the collected data, etc. Interview method has eight different types. First, structured interview method. Second, semi-structured interview method. Third, unstructured interview method. Fourth, individual interview method. Fifth, group interview method. Sixth, panel interview method. Seventh, telephonic interview method. And eighth, interview through video conferencing. First, structured interview method. Structured interviews involve the use of a set of predetermined questions and of highly standardized techniques of recording information. For example, structured interview consisting of predetermined questions is used to collect data from individuals about their age, sex, educational status, profession, etc. Second, Semi-structured interview method. A semi-structured interview is considered as open and a framework of themes to allow new ideas to be brought up during the interview as a result 
of what the interviewee says. For example, as interview guide, some informal questions are prepared to be asked to a headmaster about his initiative for getting better results of his students in board examination. At the initial stage, these questions are used to collect relevant information from him. But in accordance to the headmaster's response, the interviewer can change the question or prepare or ask a new question using his presence of mind to cover all the relevant aspects. Third, unstructured interview method. Unstructured interviews do not follow a system of predetermined questions and standardized techniques of recording information. For example, without having any predetermined questions and standardized techniques, an investigator is collecting information from a respondent about her all-round supports for better education of her children. Fourth, individual interview method. This is a one-to-one -one interview. It is a verbal and visual interaction between two people or between the interviewer and the respondent for a particular purpose. For example, an interviewer is collecting information about the reasons of non-participation in adult education scheme from an illiterate respondent of rural area. Fifth, group interview method. All respondents or small groups of respondents are interviewed together. A group interview is similar to a group discussion. A topic is given to the group and they are asked to discuss part by part. The interviewer carefully watches their discussions and performance and accordingly notes down the information. For example, a group interview is conducted on the issue of parental approach to improve quality of education of their children who are studying in different classes. Regarding the issue, various questions are asked and parents respond accordingly. Sixth, panel interview method. Panel interview is conducted between a group of interviewers and a group of respondents. During this interview, each of the interviewers takes a turn to ask questions. Otherwise, some of the team members ask questions and some other hear the response given by each respondent. Individual interviewer bias may be reduced by this method. For example, selection of teachers for different school is accomplished by panel interview method. Here, a group of interviewers are asking a set of questions to the respondents about their strategies for better classroom teaching and gathering responses accordingly. Seventh, Telephonic interview method. Telephonic interview refers to a situation where a telephone call is used to create the foundation for an interactive meeting in which one person is conducting an interview with another. This is a popular way to conduct a one-to-one -one meeting when geography presents a challenge. This type of interview minimizes both time and travel expenses. For example, telephone is used at a distance mode by an investigator to collect information from sports teachers in various schools. First of all, the investigator develops an interview schedule consisting of different questions regarding sports being practiced in schools as co-curricular activity. Then, the investigator uses telephone to ask the developed questions one after the other to each respondent and collects information from them at a distance mode. Eighth, interview through video conferencing. Video conferencing is typically used to conduct interviews using video technology from a distance. 
For example, Central Institute of Education and Technology, CIET, under NCERT, is facilitated by a mini hub of educational satellite to make video conferencing at a distance mode. Respondents who are teaching in different schools in different states across the country are invited to come to nearest educational satellite network centers and are asked a set of questions regarding the present improvement of ICT-based teaching by a group of experts through two-way video conferencing. Guidelines for conducting interview First, identify appropriate topics for interview. First of all, there is a need to identify appropriate topics. An interview guide is the list of questions, topics and issues which are covered during the interview. Second, decide on the level of detail about respondents. Interviewer should gather knowledge of his or her respondent in the context of their educational status, professions, position in society, etc. before starting the interview. Third, draft the questions for interview. The best interview questions should be drafted by the help of expert group. Before finalization, questions should be tested on members and edited until the questions seem workable and useful in determining the answers to the research questions. Fourth, order the questions for interview. Arrangement order of the questions for interview may be maintained systematically. General information like name, age, sex, educational qualification, etc. may be arranged in a particular group. Side by side, information related to the objectives may also be arranged in other group. Fifth, enlist any probes or prompts for interview. Probing questions generally is raised in a situation where the interviewer would like to search more detailed responses. On the other side, prompt questioning is used when the interviewer can see that the respondent does not understand the question or does not have any experience to draw the response. Then, the respondent is given the opportunity to present more information and if this does not work, an interviewer may resort to prompting. Sixth, pilot the questions for identifying the problems. Under pilot study, the developed questions are used to collect information from some key respondents. This study helps to test the suitability of the developed questions and accordingly modification may be incorporated. Self-preparation for interview First, plead for permission of organizing an interview. First of all, it is required to take permission from the respondents for organizing interview. Further, they must be given preference to ask any question to the interviewer if they have. Second, explain the purpose of the interview. Purpose of interview under the study must be explained to the respondents. They should also be introduced by probable outputs of the study which may be of benefit to them or may have benefit on a massive level. Third, indicate how long the interview usually takes place. Interviewee must be communicated that how long they are to be engaged to deliver the responses of different questions. Fourth, choose a setting place with minimum disturbance. There is a requirement to select a more comfortable place at workplace or homes where interviewees must feel comfortable. Fifth, avoid to ask undesired questions. Some of the questions, if found undesirable or contradictory, may be avoided to ask. Sixth, 
appeal for permission of recording interview the interviewees must be requested to allow to record the interview or to bring along someone to take notes advantages of interview first selection of suitable candidate for interview suitable respondent at initial stage can be selected by the investigator through interview this interview can be helpful to know a lot about the respondent second development of relationship between interviewer and the interviewee relation between the interviewer and the interviewee can be developed through an interview it increases mutual understanding and cooperation between two parties third collection of primary information interview can help to collect the fresh new and primary information which is very much needed fourth accumulation of sufficient information sufficient information can be collected through the interview process as a reason it may be mentioned that the interviewer can ask any question to the interviewee fifth time saving process of information collection interview can help to save time for selecting the best suitable respondent within a very short time communication can be accomplished with the interviewee sixth increasing knowledge of interviewer and the interviewee any interview increases the knowledge of both the interviewer and the interviewee they can interchange their views and ideas seventh exploration of cause behind the problem generally the concerned person needs to solve different types of problem to explore or to find out the actual reasons behind the problem interview method can be used eighth in depth analysis of any problem through planned interviews detailed information can be collected which enables proper analysis of a problem abstract factors like attitudes feelings opinion etc can be successfully evaluated or analyzed through interviews ninth sustain flexibility as per requirement one of the major advantages of interview is that it is feasible to conduct and can be further framed with flexibility depending on the situation 10th cost effective for crossing long distance if there is long distance between interviewer and interviewee then it is cost effective to travel the distance disadvantages of interview first possibility of biases of interviewer there is always a possibility that the interview process can be influenced by the biases of the interviewer second confusion on the absent record in future at the time of interview many things may be recorded whereas something may be left unintentionally so confusion may arise in future as there is no evidence actually of the things discussed at the interview third lack of attention of interviewer and the interviewee much attention is required for a good interview but sometimes it is observed that both the interviewer and the interviewee are less attentive that is why real information cannot be collected fourth disappointment of interviewee during interview interviewee may be disappointed while he or she is facing many questions for a long time fifth misleading results by inefficiency of the interviewer the success of an interview depends on the efficiency of the interviewer this inefficiency of an interviewer can lead to misleading results today 
we have discussed about interview. For further reading, you can consult the mentioned references and visit the following websites. In the next lecture, we will discuss about case study. Thank you.